Hey guys, in this video let's talk about import statements in Python and why do we need them. I'm also going to show you how you can import modules which are present in different directory. But before we can talk about import statements, you need to first know what is a function and what are modules. So a function is nothing but a block of code, but to execute this block of code, you need to call the function. So your function can either be in your own Python program or it can be in any other Python program or Python files. So uh, you can just call the function to execute the code within the function. So generally each function is built to perform a specific task. For example, uh, let's say some of the inbuilt Python functions like print, len or input. All of these functions have a specific task which they perform. For example, if you want to display something on your output, then you use the print function. Or if you want to count the number of characters in a string, then you use the len function. Or let's say if you want the user to enter a value during the execution of your Python program, then you use the input function. Okay, so now what is a module? A module is nothing but a Python program or a Python file which consists of one or more functions. It can also consist of variables or classes, etc. Now that you get a brief idea of what a function and a module are, let's get into import statements. So let's say when you're writing a Python program, if you want to use any of the inbuilt functions like print, len, input, etc., you can straight away use it in your code. But what happens when you need to use a function which is not inbuilt in Python, but is present in certain modules? Then in that case, in order to use a function which is part of certain modules, you need to first import that module into your Python program. Once you have imported this module into your Python program, all the functions, variable, classes, etc. present in that module can be accessed in your Python program. Okay. Now, in order to import a module, you can straight just write a statement like import space and the module name. In Python, there are a lot of inbuilt uh, modules. We are going to have a look at them. But you can also write your own module in Python and then import this module in any of your other Python programs. Okay, I'm going to show you example for this as well. Now let's see some examples of how to use import statements in Python. Let's say in your program you want to get today's date. To do this, what you can do is you can import a module called as date time and then inside the date time module you have a class called date within which you have a method called today. So using this, you can fetch today's date. Let's see how we can do that. So first, let me import the module. In this case, the module name is date time. Once I have imported it, uh, let me print the today's date. To do that, let me just write print and let me type today's date is. And so I just type date time dot date dot today. Okay. So now when I execute this program, you can see that it's printing today's date is 2021 February 14th. So this is how you can extract today's date using the date time module. Similarly, uh, let's say you have a program where you want to print some random numbers within a given range. To do that, you can use a module called as random. And in this case, I'm going to use uh, alias like I'm going to give this uh, module a nickname like rn okay so we basically give alias let's say if we have a module name which is pretty long and we are going to use it multiple times in our program if you don't want to every time use this uh, module name in your program you can just give a short alias and then use this alias to refer to that module okay so in this case i am referring uh, random as rn and then let me print a random number so let me say like random number is rn dot rand int and let me give a range of number let's say 1 to 10 okay now let me clear this and execute it so you can see that it's telling random number is 10 so here this rand int is the function inside my random module and to call this function i also need to provide a range of numbers so from 1 to 10 so every time i execute this it's going to pick a random number between 1 to 10 and uh, print it in my uh, output. So if I execute this again, you'll see the random number now is again 10. If I execute it again, now it's telling 4 and if I execute again, it will tell 8. So randomly it picks a number within that range and displays it. 
okay so this is what random module can be used there are a lot of other functions within these modules that you can use i'm just showing you some uh, for an example uh, similarly let me use another uh, module that is sys import sys and what i'm going to do here is uh, let's say i'm going to use a statement called as sys dot exit okay now exit is a function inside my sys module what this does is uh, it will help you to come out of your program. Basically, during the execution of a program, if Python finds this statement, sys.exit, then it will just come out of the execution. So any statements or code that is written after this exit will not be uh, considered or executed. Okay, so now when I execute this command, you can see that only the first print has been uh, printed, that is today's date is 2021-214, whereas the last print is not being printed because the Python, just, Python program just, ex uh, just exited from uh, the execution as soon as it found this particular statement, that is sys.exit. So exit is a function you can use uh, to do this kind of uh, thing. So basically, if you, if you have a requirement where based on certain condition you want execution to just stop, then you can use the exit function but in order to use this exit function you need to first import the module because this exit fun function resides inside this module sys so you can access that function only by importing this module first okay now similarly let me use and there's one more thing so you can see here i used import sys here and i i did i just used the comma and return this module here so basically what this means is you can either write import statement for each module or you can just use comma separated values to write multiple to import multiple modules okay so let me import another module here so let me say that as a web browser okay and i'll give an alias like wb Okay, and now let me comment out this sys.exit, otherwise any of our code after this will not be executed. And let me just say like open, and let me just type a website name. I'll type my own website, HTTP, yes, and techview.com. Okay, so now when I execute this, what it's going to do is, this is a web browser module, it's, it's going to help you to open a browser and then open the browser and uh, point it to this particular website okay so now when i execute this you can see that it's opening my default browser and it's opening this website techtfq.com so this is how you can use certain modules in python to perform certain tasks the advantage of using a, a module is that you may be writing programs to do a, you may have some requirement to do a specific task uh, and in order to instead of you writing every piece of code to perform that task if there is already a function within a module then you can just import that module and use that function in your code so you don't have to write every piece of code yourself you can use the features that are already developed in certain modules and use that module or use that function in the module to uh, extract certain features okay this is the advantage of using import and i'm showing you very basic examples there are a lot more things that you can do using uh, by importing modules in python now uh, let I, I told you that uh, modules all these modules that we talked about here right these are all inbuilt python modules so as soon as you install python you you will get this uh, by default so you don't need to do any uh, additional installation to get these modules but let's say uh, you can also write your own module so you can also write your own module and then import it in any of your python program so how do we do that let me clear this and let me open my own module that i have created so i have created a module here by the name count vowels uh, what this module does is this module has just one function and this function name is also count vowels but you see the difference here i have v as in uppercase and here the all the letters here are in lowercase okay so this is the function and this is the module name and now what this module or this function is doing is you pass a string or an input value to it it's going to count the num it's going to count uh, how many uh, vowel characters are present in this string okay so what basically this does is it loops uh, loops uh, it iterates through every single character in your given string and if any of the character are equal to a e i o u then it will increase the it will count that characters and it will return the number of uh, total number of count Okay, you don't have to worry how I have written this function because in my next video, I'm going to detail explain what a function in Python is, how you can use it. Okay, so let me close this and let me import my module. So import count vowels. Okay, and here I'm going to, let me comment out this web browser. I don't need this now. Let me just say, okay, in first let me get a name from the user. So I'm going to use my input 
uh, function to ask the user to enter a name enter a name now I'm going to print so I'll print saying that number of vowels are and here I'm going to say count vowels dot count vowels and pass this variable name okay so now when I execute this program it's now it's it's displayed today's date it displayed a random number and now it's asking for my name due to this input function let me enter my name Taufik and now it's what happens after that is it's going to call this print uh, function and inside this print function I have I'm calling this module and I'm calling this function inside this module and I'm passing this name uh, variable that I passed Taufik and it's going to count the number of vowels in my name Taufik so in this case it is 3 so it returns 3 okay so this is how I have used my own module uh, I have created my own module and then imported this module in my Python program uh, and seen the output here but the important thing to note here is this uh, module that I created count vowels Python was able to import it because this module is present in the same path as my current program that this program that I executed here that is learn imports.py the reason why Python is able to identify this particular uh, module is because by default Python will always look for modules if they are present in the current in the same directory as your current program okay but let's say if I move this uh, if I delete this from here okay so let me delete this from here uh, move to thrash and now I, I deleted this and now I'm going to place this module in some other uh, directory so let's say I'm going to create a new directory here okay in my desktop I'll name it like modules okay and I want to add this module here so I have a backup of that module I'll paste it here and I'll close this so I have my module placed in this new folder that I created so but now when I execute this program you can see that it's throwing me an error saying that no module named count vowels. so even though I have my count module count vowels uh, module placed in my desktop folder Python is not able to import it the reason for this is because Python always looks for modules in certain directories and those directories are uh, you can identify which are those directories by using a variable in my sys module so that is let me comment out this code and show you what uh, those directories are so let me comment out this and let me comment out this and um, okay so let me print like print sys.path okay so let me let me just add a blank line here to make it more clear let me run this you can see here that this is basically the output that I got from this sys.path so sys.path is a variable which consists of a list of directories so these are all the directories that Python will look in order to import a module so whenever you have to whenever you write import module what Python does is it searches for these modules in one of these any one of these directories so if the module is present in any one of these directories then Python will import it and then you can use it uh, in your program but in this case what happened is I have my uh, module placed in this particular directory you can see here it's users topic desktop modules and that particular path is not present in this list because it is not present in this list uh, Python is not able to import this web uh, count vowels module and it's throwing error previously it worked because this count vowels module was present in this particular directory and this is by default the first uh, the first uh, directory in this list is always by default the directory where your Python program lies okay so in this case my Python program learn import.py is present in my in my imports folder which is inside my practice Python folder and as you can see here okay hence it was able to uh, import count vowels previously but now since I moved it to a different folder it's not able to do that so the fix to this is you need to include that particular directory where you have placed your module into this particular list okay so that is your sys.path now there are uh, there are ways to do it temporarily by uh, appending a value into your sys.path list but that is not the best way to do it the best way to do it is permanently add a location or the directory into that sys.path sys to do this what you need to do is there is an environment variable in python called as python path so 
uh, this Python path will have a list of uh, directories which uh, the sys.path will access to. So if you have added a directory in Python path environment variable, then sys.path will refer to that directory and it will include it inside the sys.path variable. Okay. Now, so what we are going to do is we are going to add this new uh, directory path that I created here into my Python path environment variable. Once I do that, sys.path will be able to get it and then our our account vowels uh, module should be able to import by Python. Okay. Now to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going just going to my terminal here, uh, what I get in my VS code. Let me go to my home folder. I'm going to uh, go to the path where my module lies. So that is in my desktop and I'll type cd space. I think the module name is modules. So once I'm in this path, let me just type pwd. It will show me the whole path of that particular location. Let me copy this. And here, now I'm first going to see is echo and my environment variable name that is Python path. You can see here it's blank. So basically there is no path available in my Python path environment variable. Now we are going to add a path into this environment variable. To add a path, you just need to write export and then Python path equal to paste that whole location, add a colon and then type dollar, open a floor bracket, type Python path and close the floor bracket. That's it. Now we have exported this path into my Python path environment variable. To check that, just execute the previous command. You can see here echo dollar Python path now shows me this particular variable path, uh, this particular uh, directory. So now go back to my home directory. Let me just type Python 3 and let me import sys and see the sys.path. Now sys.path should be able to extract that particular uh, directory because we added it in, in our environment variable Python path. Okay, So let me just print like sys.path and now you can see uh, you can see here the first variable here is blank. That's okay because in terminal it will always be uh, blank. Uh, but then your second environment where second directory here you can see it is users topic desktop modules that is this particular folder uh, path that i just added into my python path environment variable now my sys.path is having this directory so let me exit from this python and let me clear this now let me uh, uncomment my import count vowels and let me uncomment this as well and let me comment out these three lines and if i execute my program you can see that it's uh, executing it's asking for my name let me enter my name topic and now it's returning number of vowels are three so this is how i have created a module and i placed that module in a new path in my desktop i added that path into my environment variable python path and due to that sys.path is able to access that path uh, that i newly added and once the path is available in sys.path if there are modules that are placed in those paths then python is able to import those modules and then you can use it in your program so i hope this was clear this is how we have used import statements to import modules uh, inbuilt modules as well as the modules that we created and the modules that we place in a different directory path. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.